guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Evan Moore History Pockets, why I chose them for our upcoming homeschool year, and how we plan to use them as our history curricula. All right, so these are the Evan Moore History Pockets. I have five of them that I'm gonna briefly talk about today. The reason that this got brought up is I just shared our upcoming homeschool curriculum picks, and for American history, we are using these pockets as well as the reading from Tuttle Twins, their American history. So I got a lot of questions on both of these um, to specifically show like flip throughs and more information. So today's video is on these history pockets and then I'm also going to be releasing a video on this shortly after. So if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos. I do really like Evan Moore. The information's always really great. Um, they're a good neutral choice. Um, you know, if you're in that in between of like a religious curriculum and secular, they're, they're pretty neutral. I never see anything religious, but I also don't ever see anything like anti-religion. So I, I just really like a lot of their stuff. I've been seeing these specific history pockets. Now these are different than their traditional workbooks. Um, these are meant to be used, uh, this, these books specifically grades four through six and plus. So these are not one level specific they're across multiple levels they do have um, some additional ones so again we are focusing on American history so that is the five I have I think yeah I think I have all five that are American history but I want to show you they also have for younger grades grades one through three they have ancient civilization life in Plymouth colony and Native American so those are more American history but those are the younger grades so I chose to go with the higher grade levels um, so the American Civil War the American Revolution ancient Rome ancient Egypt ancient Greece colonial America explorers of North America and moving west so I I do have the kind of world history ones, the ancient Egypt, Rome, and Greece. I do have those ones and I do plan on using them. I actually think I bought those first before I bought the different um, American history ones. So these are the ones I have. Um, this one, the Explorers of North America. This one does cover like a very broad range of time because it's covering um, all different explorers in all the different parts of time. So it talks about just first discovering North America all the way to like moving out west. So discovering different parts of North America and the United States. So this one will pull from like randomly. I'm gonna try to go through like that uh, Tuttle Twins book and find any of these matching names and try to match it up that way. Now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like create like a pocket. So you get like a big piece of paper and do like another paper on it and make like a little insert pocket we're not making pockets so let me just be clear on that <laughs> we're not making pockets just because we're doing so many of these different ones that and i don't want like all these pockets everywhere we're going to be doing more of like a history notebook so think of like an interactive notebook the reason i like these history pockets is you get a reading passage so here's a passage of information and then you get some like little activity cutouts as well so we're going to read through that and then do some of the little cutout activities. This one, because it's we're talking about explorers, there's like a timeline of explorers. So we actually have like a history timeline notebook. Um, so I'll probably cut some of these out if I can and then just put those in our history notebook that we already have. Here's like you make a compass. This, um, so this section is Christopher Columbus. So this it's working on Columbus ships. There's the job titles, the job descriptions. And then I think you apply for a job. So you like um, create like your own application and why you'd be good at that job. There's recipes. There's lots of maps of these explorers. Um, so that's like a good geography edition. So it looks like you make kind of like an image with these different cutouts. This one is cute. You design a treasure chest. And so here's the cutout of it. And you would write down all the things you would bring on a voyage. So there's some like writing in there, some creative thinking. So in this book, The Explorers, it all starts out with you get like a little cover with their name. So this you could cut out and like glue at the top of a notebook page. 
They have these little fast facts. They have that little reading part, their map, and then those random different activities. Each of the activities was different. This one is design an old ship, so kind of like art. So this is 11 different explorers and projects. So again, I don't know if we're gonna do all 11. I'm really gonna try to match up some of these names with what we're reading through, but this may be something we use, you know, as a resource for years in the future as well. So that is the explorers one. And these are not in order of history. Um, now that we're getting into the like the revolution, moving west, colonial America, and the Civil War, we actually can put them more in like a chronological order and work through them that way. Where the explorers, they were kind of all over different uh, time frames. So we're obviously going to be starting with colonial America. And so this is eight pockets. And so this one goes into an introduction to colonial America, the first settlement, the Native Americans, homes and villages, daily life, school, work, and memorable. So those are like the different main subjects. And then there's reading passages and activities on each of those things. So this is a reading about the first settlement. This goes into the lost colony, I believe, of Roanoke. You write like a little newspaper about it. You make a map of Jamestown. This one, you're making the Mayflower ship. Uh, then we get into Native American, the three sisters, Native American words. There's a cool like dictionary and translation of different words. The peace treaty. So this is really pulling out um, major events, major themes that were happening, like a colonial village. This is really cool. So they're going to make their own colonial village. Now, some of this stuff will not be able to fit in like a standard notebook. So like that colonial village, they'll probably get a bigger piece of construction paper. And that will be more of like a project that will hang up in our homeschool room. We move in to daily life and understanding like what food they would grow in different seasons. And then like, would it, would it last into another season? In. So really just thinking and understanding old times, you can make a ladder, the school, and so um, how school was taught in colonial times. This looks like you make a quill to write with, learning cursive, school books. So all these fun different activities, um, different jobs that would be in colonial times. And then it goes into memorable books. So there is John Smith, Pocahontas, Squanto, William Bradford, Roger Williams, William Penn, and I think that's it. Um, and then you do like a comparison on the different colonies. And then it does have answer keys in the back for the parent if you are that has answers. So that is Colonial America. And then the American Revolution, there's seven main topics, the introduction to the revolution, the causes of war, famous patriots, a soldier's life, battles, spies and traitors, and a birth of a nation. And so again, it's going over the 13 colonies, the timeline of the revolution, uh, choosing sides. So you can be a loyalist or a patriot. Um, it kind of gives you some scripts. It gives you the different people to cut out. The causes of war, it goes over that. The Boston Massacre. And this you make like a little pop-up book. All right, I'm not gonna go through each one of these individually because I feel like this video is gonna be extremely long. But I just wanna point out a couple of them. This one is a diary of a revolutionary war. These are excerpts of a diary. The Battle of Bunk Hill. So you're creating a scene. You make like invisible ink on one. So that's cool. So that's the revolution one. The Civil War has the introduction to the American Civil War, slavery, leaders of war, major battles, a soldier's life, women during the war, and war technology. It gets into the North versus South, voices of protest, um, different labels and pictures of those people, leaders in the war, the different presidents during this time, the battles that were going on during this time, the Gettysburg Address, a, a soldier's life, so what a soldier would be going through during this time, Civil War receipts, a recipe, sorry, Civil, Civil War recipes, so um, fried squirrel, Johnny cake, pickle feet, bean soup, so these are, you know, food that they were eating that time, um, you make like a little 
tent. It goes into Clara Barton, the angel of the battlefield, a uh, quilting, uh, again, different diaries, technology that was created with war, Morse code, ironclads, photography. So really a bunch of different things on history. But the reason I like these is they're just big main points and you can really just focus on that main point in that section. Um, so your kids really have a, a deep understanding and they're doing different activities to really build on that. My kids do better when we like read through a passage, but then there's like a follow up activity. Uh, so that is really what I look for in a curriculum. Like I want that reading passage of that information, but then I want some kind of them to do hands on. They can refer back to like making their own words to really correlate that information. And the last one is moving west. So this is 10 topics. It's about moving west, the new frontier, exploring the wilderness, missionaries at work, the Oregon Trail, the Native American struggler, settling in the far west, the gold rush, Great Plains, and building railroads. So I don't know how far we're going to get into this these two because I think we aren't we might have to push these to another year. Um, because I don't want to skip over too much either. I really want to focus on all this stuff. And even though these are big, broad things that happen, they don't get super in depth. I don't want to rush through these things. So just kind of going through the different things. Um, this one's fun. It has a panning for gold science experiment. You could even buy those little uh gold kits as well. I think we've stayed at like a hotel that had something like that where they got like a bag of like dirt and then they had to sift through it and they had different gold or gems inside railroads is really interesting so building the railroads so even that you could do like a field trip to like a train station i don't even know if i don't think i've ever even been on a train so those are the history pockets that we're choosing to kind of use as more of like our worksheet hands-on and using this book as like a, a main reading spine and they are coming out with the second edition. So this only goes to 1776. So they are coming out with the second edition, which obviously goes later into history. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to do a whole separate video on this getting into that, but I'm excited for the history pockets. I've heard really good things and I've heard people use them in different ways you could even make like a poster board with like the different pockets on it you know we're doing more the notebook style with it um, or you could generally just make the pockets and store those somewhere there's a bunch of other videos of people that have actually used them like actually gone through them so if um if I can find one I'll link it down below but as always I do like update videos so once we start using them I'll probably do a video like do a lesson with us or two months later here's what we're doing so stay tuned for those as well this is really more of like an introduction of why I chose it initially what I like about it and all of those things so um, I will link everything down below if you have any questions leave them down below as always and thanks for watching guys have a great day Bye.